This tutorial is sponsored by Patreon. Thank you all for your support. Hello everyone, welcome to the new tutorial series. In this tutorial series, we're going to be creating our clicker game using uh, Unreal Engine 5 and using only widget blueprints. So, I'll teach you how to do it today. So first thing first, we want to create, go to the games and create a blank project and we don't need anything from here. Just select blueprint and project name can be clicker YouTube. Once it has opened, we can create new level and call it clicker level. If we open the level, it's gonna be empty and we want it to be like this. So first thing, we're gonna create a game instance. Clicker game instance. So reason I'm creating game instances, maybe in the future I will have uh, more levels and I want to store my information in the game instance. So once I want to save them, I can all uh, I can do it all from the game instance. But uh, for now you don't have to be worried about it. We can go ahead and create our character. Click your character. So this is gonna be our uh, character. And I will for uh, start make all variables inside of the clicker character, so it's more simple. So now we can uh, create a player controller, call it clicker, gameplay, player controller. And also we can create a game mode. We can use game mode basis because it's single player. Clicker, gameplay, GM as a game mode. And that should be working perfect. So, uh, Right now, we will go to the clicker gameplay uh, game mode, to the event graph, and on event begin play, we're gonna get player controller, and first we will set show mouse cursor, because we always want to see our mouse cursor here, like that, perfect, and from there, we will also get uh, set input UI only, just like that, and we can reroute it to be cleaner. So compile and save, and now we can go and create our UI. So our game is gonna be all UI, like all widget blueprints. So we're gonna create folder for it, and let's call this master UI. This is gonna be our main UI, and we're gonna create canvas, and let's add some image, and we can anchor it to the whole screen, zero, 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 like that, and color and, uh, and the brush can be whatever we like, let's set it to be something lighter you can set like this you can i repeat you can say you can choose whatever you want so here in this master ui we will need something to click on so let's create our cookie or let's say clicker So we can choose whatever we want to be there. Uh, we're gonna also set size box and the minimum uh, desired width and height is gonna be like 150 x 150 and we can set to be desired and inside we can uh, put border and later on we can change it and let's say it's gonna be, for example, just this cube for now, but later we're gonna change this. So now, if we go ahead, oh, also um, wrap this border with a button, because we want this to be a button. And change padding to zero, zero. And also, here we want it to be zero, so we want this border to fill our button. So this now has a function, 
and we're going to call clicker button and set as variable. We're going to need it later. So now in the user created, we can find a clicker. And if we size it to content, it's going to be the, one, uh, the same as we put it there. And let's anchor it to the middle and position it like this and align it 0 0.5, 0 0.5 so it's right in the middle. Just like that. And now if we click play, there is nothing because we need to add it to the viewport. So we can also, from here, we can delete and tick. And let's make sequence. And here we're gonna create widget. It's gonna be master UI. And we're gonna add it to viewport. Compile and save. So now if we open clicker level and we set game mode. So we created a clicker gameplay game mode. So let's select game mode. Let's select our clicker character and let's select our clicker gameplay player controller. If we save and open it now, we have this here. Uh, just like that. Uh, actually, we don't need this border. Uh, that was my bad. We can just set it to be here, the color that we want. And we can uh, press copy, hold shift, left click, hold shift, left click, left click. But for hover, we're gonna make it a little bit lighter so we can see if we hover it. Just like that. Compile and save, click play. And as you can see, we have a button now on the screen. Okay. So now we need to create a text. I will create simple text in my master UI. And I'm gonna type in it um, clicker game. Just like that. And I can make a text a little bit bigger. And we can position it on the top. Set it to zero. This is 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And position it a little, let's say 100. So we have our clicker game here. Uh, then I'm gonna duplicate the text with uh, Alt, uh, Setter L, Console Control D. This is gonna be my points. So let's say zero and let's uh, line it to the middle and let's make it anchor like that. So zero zero, that all, that all works good. And now we need to create, a, so basically now if we go and click, nothing happens, right? But uh, we can fix that by going into our clicker character. Or rather, we can all make it in the game instance, so these points stay even if we change levels. Uh, so we can create it here. So let's create it like a clicker points. Let's make it as a float. So we have clicker points here. And with those clicker points, we can go ahead to our master UI and we can bind this text. But to be able to bind it, we need to cast to our game instance. So that's our clicker game instance. Here we are just going to get game instance. And this is going to be our clicker game instance reference. And because we did this now, we're going to be able to pull the clicker points. So if we get this game instance reference and we get clicker points, as you can see, we can just pull it in and we're going to have our clicker points uh, showing. So even if we go now, we cannot see it because we need to add a function to the button. And here we're getting some errors. And we're getting this error simply because we need to go to our project settings sorry, not editor preference, project settings, and uh, just find map and modes, 
and set our game instance that we created just like that so that should uh, res resolve the issue so if we click yeah now it works okay so now uh, we need to add a function that is gonna add the number to our UI and that's this little button so if we go to the clicker that's our button we can go to the graph and we can uh, cast to game instance again and we can just basically copy all of this here uh, actually just copy this and promote to variable clicker game instance reference so this is for our clicker button so here because it's a variable we can go ahead and on pressed we can uh, get our clicker game instance reference we can get clicker points and we can simply add clicker points so from here i'm gonna copy this and i'm gonna set clicker points by this but to make it more uh, uh, more flexible i'm gonna call this clicker points per click so if we for example buy more uh, upgrades uh, then in the future our click uh, clicker points per click are gonna be increased and not only one like now so make sure you set clicker points per click one perfect so now if we go ahead as you can see we have a working clicker game we get our points it's a very simple way to of making one and in the future we're gonna upgrade the system and create a shop and some uh, superpowers let's say uh, anything that's gonna make this game fun because now it's not fun you just click and you get points so in the future we're gonna be able to spend these points so thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next episode